to TV. Galvanizing, lyrical, soulful, captivating, entertaining. Take Two TV, Friday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern. Good evening and welcome to another edition of Take Two TV. I'm telling you, I have the best job. I get to interview people that I am truly in love with their lives. I am in love with what they do and all of the great things that they're accomplishing. And I get a chance to share all of that with you. Some of them I know personally, others I'm meeting for the first time. In this situation, I'd like to, you to inter, excuse me, introduce you to my friend, Louis Lee. We go way back. Way, way back. Way, way back. And I'm so excited to have you. Um, I have been following your journey, and I am so excited about your fitness program, your studio, Get Fit With Louie. Thank you. Thank you. And, uh, you know, the reason I wanted you to be on today is Take Two is the book that I've written. Mm -hmm. It's a movement. Uh, it encourages, or we strive to encourage, people to not stop where it happened. And health and fitness, I think, at least in my personal life, mm -hmm. uh, when you've gone through some tough times, health and fitness go out the window. Absolutely. Because a milkshake <laughs> is, you know, I don't know what it is about going through and milkshakes and fat and stuff. One mile away. But, you know, it's, it's important that as we rejoin our lives, that we sit down and we really assess where we need to really, really focus to get back on track. Exactly. Um, and so fitness is one of those areas. Tell me, what really led you uh, into personal fitness, personal training, having a studio? I know you had one in Atlanta, mm -hmm. and uh, now you're here in Charlotte. Yes. So how did, how did you land there? Well, uh... I'm gonna keep a long story short. You know, okay. All my life I've been into sports, uh, basketball, baseball, played on the collegiate level, as I stated to you before. Yeah. Um, yeah. Never did like to work out. Really? At every practice, after every game, <laughs> players and friends would go and do weight training, and Lewis was somewhere probably playing a game then or just not going to weight training. That I hated weights. So I hated weights in high school, and I definitely hated weights in college. Uh, but uh, once I proposed to my wife uh, back in 2013. Congratulations, uh, by the way. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, once I proposed to my wife, all that good cooking that got to me, I knew I wanted to look my best on my wedding day. So I was like, hey, babe. I think I want to get us back in the gym. So it actually started from there. It okay. actually started from there. I got my okay. wife and I uh, to lose combined. I would say probably about eighty pounds combined. Really? Yeah. Um, and from there, people that's were just an asking. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, that's, and to that's actually do it alone, uh, just looking at a couple of YouTube channels, just you know, following what they're doing, writing my own resume out. Uh, drilling her in the gym, you know, that's the hardest thing ever is to get my <laughs> wife to do what I wanted her to do. So what was the secret to get her? I had to learn her? patience with her. Okay. I, I definitely had to learn patience with my wife. Um, I would say out of all my clients, that has been my most challenging <laughs> one. Um, so I think any client that I get now is just like an easy breezy. Uh, but my wife has definitely been a test. But... You know, I can actually say we worked well in the gym together okay. you know, up until getting into our, uh, our wedding. But after that, um, went back to a nine to five. And one day, I want to work feeling good, came from the gym. Okay. And I get laid off. I get a notice, say, hey, you know, we're going to let you go. I asked one question. I said, look, is this going to be a layoff or a fire? Because I know if I go home and I say, if I got fired, she's gonna, she's gonna hit me upside my head. But if I get laid off and I got money coming in, it's a little bit easier to sit back and actually think about what it is exactly that I want to do. Right. Um, this time I, I sat back for probably about two days and I, I had to snap out of it. Like, look, all right, you gotta get up, you gotta get going because I've been working ever since I was 15. What it is, Lewis, that you wanna do? I put two and two together. I like to help people all my life. I love fitness. Isn't it funny how? You know, what we think is a really bad thing 
right. you know, layoff, losing your job, how it propels us so often mm -hmm. into that that thing that we are destined to do. Right. That is that's just powerful. Exactly. You know, in the book and, and here on Take Two T V we talk about, you know, or I like to showcase or highlight when people that are successful mm -hmm. and have made it through uh, some difficult situations, was there ever a time that you just wanted to throw in the towel? Just say, <clears throat> forget it. Only on the days that ends with a Y. <laughs> <laughs> Only on the days that ends with a Y. Um, fitness is fun, mm -hmm. but uh, my day starts early morning at three thirty in the morning, um, okay. and yes, it's you know to stay focused on my clients and also stay focused on top of my game. It definitely can be challenging, but I do have a bigger goal in mind. You know, uh, right now I'm competing for a man's physique. I'm actually going in the trainer of man's physique. I have a coach of my own, so he keeps me accountable, um, and that's okay. why I love being a a trainer. You know, yes, I'm good at being a trainer. Yes, I can. You know, help transform people's bodies, but if I can help transform lives, that's what I love the most. That's that's um, powerful. So talk to me a little bit about that. How does transforming a body transform a life from your perspective? Um, well, I would say it's easier to transform a body. Um, the reason I say that is because yes, I can give you a, a great nutrition plan and uh, you know give you so many workouts. And eventually, it's gonna you follow it's gonna transform your body. Mm -hmm. But in the back of my mind, what well, in front of my mind, and what it's gonna automatically tick in your mind one day down the line, you're gonna be able to transform your mind. Um, and that's the biggest of anything, you know, transform your mind to want to go out and make a better, you know, healthier you. Mm -hmm. uh, whether if it's you know eating healthy, you know, every day, not just for 21 days, mm -hmm. you know, no not to uh, the different diets out here, and I, I hate to tell my clients, you know, you're going on this diet, you're going, no, you're going on a nutrition plan. Mm -hmm. uh, because nutrition plan is forever. Right? Exactly. It's a difference. You know, if you think about so many diets out there, there's always a ending date, 21 mm -hmm. days, uh, sure. 14 days, whatever it is. But the nutrition plan is go on and on and on and on. And you're training your mind That's to a good train point. your life. That's a good point. Being one that has been on at least 97 of those diets, <laughs> uh, you know, it's the seven day plan, it's the 14 day cabbage diet, exactly. it's the, you know, and it's amazing how you get pumped up for that, you exactly. know, cooking cabbage soup, I'm eating that all day, and, but you just, it just clicked with me that it has an end date. Exactly. I never thought of it like that. That's fun. Huh. And think about what you're doing on that on that what? after day seven. Think about what you're going to do on day eight. You think about that shape. I'm getting that shape. You think about <laughs> what you're going to do after shape. this. I'm some that people plan. For, some people plan for trips, and you're going back to the same old habits. So you know, you you referenced something earlier. Your mm -hmm. wedding. Yeah. Um, I happened to see your your a lot of your festivities. It was a beautiful wedding, Thank by you. the way. Thank you. Um, the best part for me was the bride and groom dance. <laughs> well, well the, the bride dance for the groom and then the reverse of that. But yeah. in terms of your wedding, and so many people have a special event mm -hmm. that they want to lose weight for. Exactly. So after you got married, everything was great. Back from the honeymoon, mm -hmm. back home. Did you continue the journey? Um, then my wife and I, we were in the gym, I wouldn't say every day of the week. Okay. Uh, it was more of maybe three to four days. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, for the wedding, we was going seven days a week. Mm -hmm. Um, because she had a beautiful dress, as you saw in the yeah. wedding pictures that cool. she wanted to get into. Of course, I had a tailor-made suit that I definitely wanted to get into, so it was definitely seven-day grind for us. But yeah. after the wedding, again, <clears throat> she's going back to cooking the things that we used to eat. Um, those some of the old habits came back into play, but then it just got to a point that I was like, "Look, I'm starting to feel sluggish again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want to." And then that's actually when we I looked into it was my idea for us to get a trainer. Okay. Um, I actually okay. hired us a trainer to get us over that hump to get us past that plateau that I got us to. 
Um, and that's what I tell a lot of people, you know, sometimes you may hit a plateau. You may just need an expert to help you get past that, to break down that wall and help you guide away from finding resources. Exactly. resources. I want to jump back to something. I want to mm-hmm. jump back to the point we were talking about when the layoff presented itself. Mm-hmm. Um, and I want to talk a little bit about how long did it take you to get from layoff, tell my wife, I'm going to do something different. And secure, my, I'm, I'm wondering if you thought about securing your own future. Mm-hmm. Because so many people uh, have faced, and that's one of their sticking points. I've lost my job, I've lost my, and, and so many people connect job with identity. Exactly. Um, so that is one of the points that people get stuck at. How long did it take you to get there to make this decision? It was fairly uh, fast work. I was already <clears throat> in the mindset of I was ready to leave that job. Okay. Um, I just didn't know how to leave. Okay. Um, I think it was um, a push out the door for me. I was seven. Now that's um, funny. That's funny because it's funny how life is, yes. right? when you've been in a place and it's past your season and it's mm-hmm. time for you to do something else. Exactly. You 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 reach that end that you didn't even expect. Exactly. So that's that's interesting. So a couple things I want to ask you all of this. Okay. So if you diet, now you dieting now. Okay. And you you're religious about that dieting, but you're not exercising. What's the expected outcome? You was your body still with change. Okay. Your, mind, your mindset would change as well. Um, okay. Because if you're sticking to this, let's use the word nutrition. Right? Nutrition. Right. You know, this you're giving the away with diet. Exactly. Okay. So if I, this time, if I place you on a nutrition plan, right? Mm-hmm. And you do not exercise, but you're sticking to your nutrition plan, you're following this, eventually your body will change. Your mindset already changed because you're sticking with it, but eventually your body's going to change. Your nutrition plan is 80% of what you do. Um, because like I, I tell my clients all the time, we can be in this gym from sun up to sundown, and if you're, you're not, not eating right, you're, we're wasting our time. Yeah. But if the minute that you eat right and you follow the nutrition plan, one of the things I've thought about, you know, as I have battled it myself, mm-hmm. is nothing tastes as good as good health foods. Exactly. I'll give you that for free. Okay. Nothing tastes <laughs> as good as good health feels, and that's the truth. Um, you know, I lost my dad three years ago, and he never saw a hot dog, a sausage, wow. a hamburger, a steak that he didn't love. Wow. Ultimately, um, it, it took its toll mm-hmm. on his body, mm-hmm. um, amongst many things, but it was during that time that I recognized and realized the connection between health and wellness and what we eat. Yes. So that's when I came up with that. Okay. Nothing tastes as good as good health feels. Nice. So we got an incentive, you and I. Yes. And if you are in the Charlotte area and you are one of the first 10 people to buy the book, Take Two Steps to Rejoining Your Life, you will get a free hour with Lewis. Free? A free hour. Yeah. So if they buy the book, they're, they're between 1 and 10. They get this free hour with you, mm-hmm. compliments of me. Uh, what are they going to get in that hour? Um, you're going to, first and foremost, I'm going to treat every client, every prospective client, um, like they're my own. Um, so the first day of what I do with everyone is give you a fitness evaluation. I want you to see, even if you do not uh, decide to go further with this relationship, I want you to see where you're currently at right now. Um, in order for you to get where you want to go, you got to see where you're at right now. That's so right. I want to test your you know, your weight. Um, a lot of people don't know about body fat percentage. I talk to my clients about that. Everyone knows. <laughs> some don't want to know. Those some don't want to know. Percentage. But it's very but okay. important. It's it is very, important. It's very important. Health-wise. Health-wise. Health-wise, yes. yes. Because anything, let's put it out there, anything over 30%, you're obese. Um, and a lot of people are afraid of that, you know, mm-hmm. and a lot of people are afraid of that. So that's why I like to educate my clients as well. Um, so that would actually take only probably about 10 minutes of our time. After that, 
we're definitely going to have some fun. Um, being that it's only one session, we will get a full body, um, a great strength and training, uh, strength and training, toning uh, workout. Okay. Um, add a little cardio in there. I may actually even throw a boxing in there as well. It's going to be a surprise in there. So, a surprise. Um, for each person, Five they will get four. something different. Be one of ten, get the surprise. Yeah. Right. Each person will get something different. Okay. Um, so I, I like to get creative, you know. Will there be any music? We got music in uh, my studio, okay. so yeah, it's, it's music. That would have to be there for me. It's, it's definitely music. That we, and we don't play anything. Loud. Music. Pump it up, pump it up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, you know, I, I am just so excited that, uh, you know, you are offering the opportunity for people to get fit. Absolutely. And to really, really focus on their health and their nutrition it is a stumbling block, excuse me, a stumbling block for a lot of people. Yeah. Um, it's just that thing that we sometimes know we need to do, yeah. but we don't make time to do it. Exactly. If someone is not in the Charlotte area um, and they want to contact you, do you do workouts through Skype or any technology? I actually do have an online uh, platform right now. Okay, great. Um, in the beginning stages right now, but I do have uh, several uh, clients down in Atlanta. Uh, a couple mm-hmm. of my clients that I've had down there, I was actually able to keep one uh, on my on my team and continue to help them okay, uh, cool. with their goals and aspirations of living a better life. But I do have an online platform. Okay. Um, you know, anyone I have I even have a client up in Minnesota. So, okay, um, if you're willing to work, willing to put in the work, I I, I will create that for you. And, okay. And I know we'll have your information at the end of the show, but how will people reach out to you, follow you, learn more about you? Um, you can actually reach out to me. Like I said, you'll put the information up. But uh, quickest way what people use now is Instagram. Uh, I am dot Mr. Lee. Uh, Facebook is Louis Lee, my name. Um, and email is getfitwithlouie at gmail.com. Getfitwithlouie@gmail.com. Yeah. I like I am Mr. Lee. That just sounds important. Yeah. <laughs> In any event, once again, I've had a great time uh, right here at Tech 2 TV. Remember, every Friday night at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern, you can watch us on your Fire Stick, your Roku, Apple TV, WBNDTV.com, the app as well. Or you can find us at tech2now.net or YouTube under Tech 2 TV. So with all of those options, there is no reason that you miss any episode of Take Two TV. Thanks a lot. I'll see you next week. Take Two TV. Galvanizing, lyrical, soulful. Take Two TV. Galvanizing, lyrical, soulful, captivating, entertaining. Take Two TV. Take Two TV. Galvanizing, lyrical. Soulful, captivating, entertaining. Take, take, take two TV. Friday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern. 30 take minutes of real, real life, real life, real life. Real life people, real life stories, real life victories. Only on WBNDTV.com, Fire Stick, Roku TV, and Apple TV. Take, take, take two TV.